my channel. I'm Tara, if you're new here. What's up? <laughs> Today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day, which was very highly requested. I haven't done a what I eat in a day for like a hot minute, so I figured this would be a good time to do it. Obviously, what I eat in a day changes every single day. I like to switch it up. So let me know if you would like to see more of these videos, and I'd be happy to like make them more often. Also, what do you think of my collage wall? I just made this the other day. It'll be in an upcoming vlog, which will be linked down below. But I'm really into it. For today's video, I want you to comment down below what you ate for breakfast and if you enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm a big breakfast person, so I want to know what you guys are eating. I'm also on a spinning chair, so I, therefore I want to spin around the whole time I'm sitting here. Also, make sure to subscribe because why not? And let's start with uh, breakfast. It brings a Good morning guys, starting the day off with a chai because I'm obsessed. I just have a chai like cake pot and then I put in some French vanilla creamer to add some like creaminess to it. It's so good, so delicious. I always start my day off with either that or like a matcha. And then breakfast is typically two eggs. I don't like a huge breakfast because I'm never like that hungry. Instead of like scrambling them up or making an omelet, which I used to do a couple years ago, I just have two hard boiled eggs in the morning. They're just so good, they are the perfect like start to my day. So I cut my hard boiled eggs in half and then I mix the yolk with avocado and then add like guacamole seasoning in there. It's honestly just like my favorite thing. It's so easy and fast in the morning. This is like my go-to breakfast probably like 75% of the time. This is like what I'm eating in the morning. Although lately if I'm a little hungrier, I go for two slices of toast with a uh, cream cheese on it so good okay so basically once i have the yolk and the avocado mixed i put on my seasoning which is typically salt and then cayenne pepper garlic powder guacamole seasoning and then once all of that's mixed i put it back into like the little egg and then i do more seasoning on top <laughs> i can't really tell if this looks really weird but this is my breakfast and honestly it's going to be absolutely delicious every morning i sit in the corner of my couch with my food and i throw on something on netflix and it's like my favorite thing to do in the morning it just starts the day off right but it's hard for me to like do my thing and hold this and hold the camera and eat so so i typically eat lunch at home like on most days i think i maybe eat out like twice a week for lunch. Okay, more like once a week. Well, twice. We'll just say an average of twice a week I'll eat out for lunch. So most of the time I do eat at home, but today I am going out for lunch, so I figured I would bring you guys with. It should be a healthy lunch because we're going to Sweet Green. I am very excited. I haven't been to Sweet Green in like six months, so I am looking forward to getting a nice, delicious salad bowl. Meeting up with my best friend, Jilly, and we are going to get some yummy foods and then work for the rest of the afternoon or like for a bit of the afternoon. It's Friday and then tonight we're going out. So this is when like the balance of healthy and unhealthy becomes a thing. So we eat healthy for the day before we drink a bunch at night. You gotta have a good balance. <laughs> but I am going to head out right now so I have to get my bag and get my stuff together. And let's go. Hello, 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 how's she doing? She's doing great. bowls I got the guacamole greens which is like guacamole chicken I got some goat cheese on there some tomato I don't know looks great and then Jill got this like Asian miso bowl which also looks really good Very good. This was a big salad. <laughs> I ate the entire thing. It was delicious. I feel like there's food all over my mouth now. The perfect lunch. It's like 
so filling and satisfying and flavorful and honestly just sitting outside on the patio here is really nice. Just like love it. Now I think the plan is to go get a matcha because we usually get one when we have work days. So we'll see. Yeah, I'll probably get a matcha because how can I not? put my pajama pants back on until I have to go out again later. Here they are. I'm at home. I was like, you know what? Let's just be comfy. Whatever. It's 6.20 right now. I'm having friends come over in like a couple of hours. So I'm going to make myself dinner now. And I'm very excited to make what I'm about to make tonight. I am trying out the infamous Trader Joe's cauliflower gnocchi. Ooh. So it's gnocchi, but it's, it's cauliflower. I watched a couple YouTube videos to see how to make this because Jill told me that it could be a little weird if you follow the instructions on the packaging which is odd, but I'm gonna do what I found online and share it with you guys. I don't know what kind of sauce I'm gonna put on this yet, but probably like marinara, throw some spinach in there too, get some veggies. I don't know, but let's try it. I'm actually so excited. So I'm gonna start by putting a little bit of oil on my pan. Actually, okay, I'm going to also put some garlic in there with the oil. Please keep in mind, I have no idea really what I'm doing right now and I'm fully winging it because I've never tried making this before. But I have been meaning to try it for a while. I'm just gonna put like, I really enjoy garlic. I think I'm gonna use half of the bag. That's what the person on YouTube did. So I'm literally just gonna place these down. Just the little gnocchis. So placing them down and then I'm supposed to wait three minutes for them to like cook on that side and then you flip them and then they cook on the other side. I want to flip them. Okay, I'm flipping them. And now I'll wait another three minutes. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. So they're definitely getting a little bit crispy, which is what the internet told me to do. So they're supposed to, this is like so loud. It's like obnoxious. They're supposed to get a little crispy and then you add in like a little bit more water, I think. Let's just, I'm just gonna add like a tiny bit. Okay, so I think they're done. I don't know what kind of, I'll just do marinara because it's easy. This is just organic marinara, no salt added. Okay. <sighs> I can't do it. Yes, I can. Throw some marinara. So we'll let the spinach wilt down and then we'll put it on a plate. We're also just gonna add some salt and some garlic powder. Yeah, and pepper. All right guys, the gnocchi has been made. I wish I had like Parmesan cheese to sprinkle on top, but I do not. It looks pretty good. I'm very intrigued to see if it's gonna taste like gnocchi or if it's gonna be like cauliflower. <laughs> I also made myself a cup of tea because, well, I just enjoy drinking tea. We have some green tea in here and I guess let's try this. I'm really hoping this is good. This looks actually delicious. When you put your fork in it, it really feels like gnocchi. That is so interesting. When I first bit into it, it really like had the same texture as gnocchi. Like that is so unique. Okay, wait. That is so good. It has like a hint of cauliflower taste, which I mean, obviously makes sense. This is delicious. This is so good. This is now 
one of my new go-to recipes because it was very easy. It took like 10 minutes maybe. So good. I also feel like half the bag is a perfect serving size because gnocchi tends to fill me up really fast. Like the little balls are packed with stuff in there. Oh my God. Every bite, I'm just like, if you have Trader Joe's in your area, get this. I'm gonna dig in instead of just sitting here telling you guys how good it is. I am still very full post dinner, but Jill is on her way here and then Brian's gonna come over. Jill's gonna be here first, so what I'm going to do is have a shot lined up ready for her for our Friday night activities. It's always just fun when your friend comes over and it's like immediately like, here you go. Sorry, Jilly, but, oh, but, oh, oops. And the night begins. Oh, what do you mean? What are you what drinking you today, mean? am I right? <laughs> How about that? Okay, so basically what's gonna happen for the rest of the day is we're gonna just keep doing what you just saw until we go out and do our fun night out and then I will catch up with you guys when I'm back home after the evening out and having a midnight snack. <laughs> we're back, it's 11.15, we're ordering McDonald's. Is this your what I eat today? Yes it is. Love it. So we ordered two medium fries, two hash browns, both for myself. Two small sweet teas and one medium sweet tea for Mr. Brian. I love it, I couldn't be happier. Oh yes, we got the goods. There's only one fries, guys. No. One medium? That's not enough. I guess Jill's not gonna have any. Oh, I'm so glad that I, at least my showed up. <laughs> Wait, what the heck? Oh my god. Wait, try it. It's good. It's so good. It's mm. really amazing. It looks so good. Oh yeah. You can do no wrong. Can't go wrong. And that was what I ate in a day. It was very authentic. <laughs> I try to be as healthy as I can, but obviously like I like to do fun things and eat delicious unhealthy foods. So you have to try and find a balance and what works for you and your body. I think I've done a good job of finding a perfect balance for myself and I can have my yummy food during the day and also eat McDonald's at night. <laughs> obviously that's like more of an uncommon occurrence. I don't typically eat McDonald's, but it was just, it was Friday and we wanted McDonald's. So that's what we got. But yeah, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you made it to the end, I hope you subscribed because you must have enjoyed this at least a little bit to make it to the end. And give me a thumbs up if you want to see more what I eat in a day slash like food videos. You can check me out on all my socials linked down below. We have Instagram, Twitter. I just sometimes post on Snapchat, my blog, my vlog channel. I have so many different platforms that you can create me on. So have fun. But yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys next Tuesday with another